All right, give it up. All right. Attack those that profit. I learned to lockpick every day, Monsanto. They test their new products, and if we work together, fuck yeah, we can stop it. You don't need a gun, just put a ladder in your pocket. Bring flammable material on something to chop shit. It's okay, I say, don't be ashamed. Some people get off on it and call it erotic. Fucking up the system because it is toxic. Burn it down. Call me a Gnostic. We're the ones in control sitting in this cockpit. Don't stress, get an address and choose a target. Always weak points, check it under the guarded. Look at how Lucas dealt with the starship, but He's like one in a million, there's so many lethargic Ain't got conviction cause they's all half-hearted Power in number, solidarity through hardship as we burn it down Nice <laughs> Can I get your name? Blank space The Quebec government is now armed with tough new powers aimed at ending the student strike It passed emergency legislation today after debating non-stop for nearly 24 hours but reaction from student groups and some legal experts has been resoundingly negative, with some comparing the new law to the War Measures Act and calling it an infringement on basic rights. Union leaders have joined the chorus of outcries from the opposition and from student groups who say the government has declared war on Quebec youth. By this law, this government is consciously breaking, destroying this fundamental right. It's unacceptable, and if we need to break this law, we will seriously consider it. In the 60s in Quebec, the Catholic Church underwrote the legitimacy, the legitimacy of the state to engage in a lot of repressive practices. And one of the ways that the people popularly revolted against that was by taking sacred words from the Catholic Church, like Kali's, like Tabernacle, and making them into swear words. Mary. When they say Kali's, it means the chalice. And when you call that bullshit, what you're doing is undermining the legitimacy of that to be a symbol of authority. In Montreal, people in Quebec are chanting ensemble Kali's is they're invoking the same sentiment. The special law has no authority over the people. That is illegitimate. That law is illegitimate because the state claims that it takes its authority from the popular will of the people. This law demonstrates that it does not. Now, this, this protest started out as a protest against tuition hikes, but it has spread out into a wider field, and that is a protest against an austerity agenda that is being imposed by the state on the people. And this agenda is one that siphons off our resources from us, derives them, and gives them over to the state, which is now deploying them in ways to repress us as people. I'm talking about super jails. I'm talking about the fact that unemployment insurance has been drastically cut. I'm talking, hey! about, I'm talking about the fact that refugees who land in Canada yeah. will, as of June 1st, no longer be eligible for health care. Yeah! Yeah! If you're a refugee and you're in Canada and you're sick, you can go and die. Is that the sort of thing that we think that our state should be doing to people? No. Do we think that's legitimate? No! no. no. It's bullshit! Bullshit! So I think we should all remind ourselves and remind the people around us that actually we are the state. The state doesn't fucking own us. We tell them what to do. Yeah! yeah. This sits in the middle of a very radical weekend in Montreal. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Bill 78 was just passed yesterday, which basically limits the civil rights of many Canadians, especially those within Quebec, um, aimed at the striking students. And yeah, Montreal is going to be uh, quite interesting this evening, I think. Yep. <laughs> Some say it's not what happens. That is more. 
what you make of it. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we're uh, we're in uh, Montreal right now. We're celebrating the police's new uh, silly little laws, and um, it looks like we've kind of moved up on the police lines. So let's find out what's going to happen. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Can you text like them and tell them we're just at the front of the line, so we're okay?
Hey, what do we have here? Riot police! Oh, let's look at them. And there they are. As always. Here, stand over here for a sec. Stand over here. So, uh, what's going on? Uh, looks like we've got a little blockade. I don't think they want us to go this way. No, I don't think they're here. No, it's... Should we go Wait, read poetry to them or something? Or? We should like dance around. Them. We should like dance around. Them. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens in the next like, couple hours. Cause like, who knows what people are gonna do, right? Like, there's so many people right now. Like, if, what if everybody was like? I'd be careful. Right, watch you guys, guys. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. So even after all that clear police brutality, we ended up joining back up with everybody and the march continued. Groovy Dunes! Watch my back. I don't speak French, sorry. La manifestation est illégale. Nous allons procéder en mode dispersion. Présentement, la manifestation est illégale et nous allons procéder en mode dispersion avec des groupes spécialisés. Hang on, Anna, get back, yeah. Anna, get back. Don't yell quick, nothing.
Yeah. You okay, man? Okay, dude. Oh my god, oh my god. Mace, mace. On est dans notre droit de manifester, vous n'avez pas la fin de nous traiter comme ça! C'est correct, man? had a little escapade. We ran around uh, downtown Montreal for a while and uh, the police tried to cordon off and separate the group, which they successfully did a number of times. Yep. Um, one time we got caught near the end and a uh, few of us fell behind the police line, but you guys are right up as they were pushing hard. Um, what happened there? You guys jumped the fence and stuff. What happened? Yeah, what happened, basically we were coming down the streets and the bottom of the street there was a line of riot police and they started lobbing tear gas and other projectiles at us. So we decided to head back up the street and by that time the street way behind us was blocked and they were coming down the street and blocked the side street. At that point we were in the middle of a kettle and we had to get out any way we could. Um, there was a bunch of people behind a fence that helped everybody over the fence. Um, probably about a 10 foot high barbed wire fence and uh, in the process of that a few of us got a few uh, nicks and wounds. Uh, hey, let me see your leg, let me see your leg there. It's been cleaned up a, a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, a good night in general I think. Yeah, so that was your first concussion grenade. I was, I was happy with it. I could, smell, I could smell the tear gas and it brought out tears of joy. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'll put that on your tombstone. So 
awesome. One minute, party goers are enjoying drinks on the terrace at Le Saint Buck, watching the protests go by when suddenly they're caught up in the mayhem. This video shows an officer responding to someone on the terrace who is yelling something at him. They decide to arrest people that are on the terrace and on the side of the terrace. So all the, the customers on the terrace are protesting because they see what they think is is unjustified. The bar's manager says he's upset with how police went after his customers just before 1 a.m. Montreal police say they only reacted when a chair was thrown at them from the terrace. This is a fact which is in the investigation and we try to recreate the, um, the events minute by minute right now. Paquet says some people tried to keep the customer on the terrace and police went on the offensive. We see quickly pepper spray and then a blast of this thing, the muzzle blast, which is a powder dispersion round that is shot directly at a customer. After most of his panicked customers had been forced into the bar by police, he says they went overboard. In my eyes, violent and rough with, with the customers. All that for only one guy. Right, so right now there's concussion grenades going off and uh, the police are separated a group of us and they're splitting them off and there's more coming this way right now. Come on, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. All right, we're running from the cops right now. So they're breaking everybody up into little groups, it seems, and then that way it's divide and conquer, basically, right? So that's the new tactic. And they're using concussion grenades and shit like that for that. So, and it looks like we got everybody in our group back already. So we're uh, following the lead here. Hey guys. That was interesting. How's that? <sighs>
put it back down. Follow me, guys. Follow me. Okay, we're behind. Watch it, guys. Where is he? Where is he? Oh. Stay with these guys. Stay with these guys, come here. So uh, we've kind of tracked behind a global television crew here, and we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully we're right behind the police line. All right. I don't know what you're saying. English? Stay there. I don't know what you say. Hey, hey, phone the ball. This way. So uh, we just got cut off from everybody else, and um, we were in the corner of an intersection taking some pictures. And Bailey got jumped, and we tried to jump in and help her out. I got a shield in the chest. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we were just standing around, and we just got attacked by the police. in right now and we're doing everything we can to try to avoid it so there's people behind me running this way and the cops they're setting up there so so we see people running this way it's gonna be interesting
and after the other group were running this way to escape the tear gas and then we when we arrived here because I finally let the, the, the tourists go to the hotel and when we arrived here there was other anti-riot police asking us to circulate I was like yeah but we cannot go back and then we cannot go here I don't understand what you're saying and they said okay me you're gonna get arrested I was like yeah but you asking us to disperse and you preventing us from doing it I don't understand what you mean Fuck, relax, dude. I didn't, but I didn't. Are you serious? That door Okay. How much long? How long is it going to take? Uh, too long, yes. I've already waited. How long have you been waiting? Suffer with me. At least one hour. 20 minutes, basically. Oh, no. Right. You don't have medicine? 20 minutes. No, no, I don't have medicine. I just want to get my health. Oh, maybe your ice cream is going to melt. Yeah, yeah. Put it in the ice. How much charge you got on your battery? Do you got enough charge to stick around? Oh, yeah. 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 This is what a police state looks like. This is what a police state looks like. All right, so the police have uh, pushed us back another block or two. And they're moving up. Ooh, 
to follow people through. Go turn left here. Fuck them. Turn left here. Go back around. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Nice. Got him. All right, the cops just swung in like mock speed and jumped out of a shitload of cruisers with uh, riot cops. Um, another thing I want to mention is uh, everybody says that, um, you know, the protesters are so violent in Montreal. You know, I did see some windows broken. Um, I did see a couple rocks thrown. I'm not going to lie about that. But that was only after tear ga gas, concussion grenades, rubber bullets, shields and batons, and being chased down, and sound cannons, so, and kettling. So, I mean, you just want to peacefully assemble and march on the streets. That should be our rights as Canadians to be able to do that. But, you know, they're taking all that away incrementally through all these bills. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> 